have to get my way over to Illinois to do this crop dusting trial. Let's have a look and see. Oh, some good flights there. Yep, I think we'll go with this one. Booked. All right, I'm gonna grab an Uber out to the airport. I'll leave the truck here. Packed my bag, we'll head on up to the highway. Oh, I'll just get in this seat here and strap in. There we go, we'll shut this door. I might just open the little window up so we don't fry. Okay, we're gonna crop dust a field off to the east just to get our endorsement back up on dusting. Now, throttle to idle, propeller full fine, mixture is idle cutoff flap, is none selected. Radio's off, battery on, alternate alternate source on, anti collision on, mags on, altitude is set. We've got full fuel, nothing else to set there. I think we're good to go. Okay, mixture full rich. We'll pump the throttle a few times and then crack it about an inch. Clear prop. And away we go. The engine is a running. Let those cylinder head temps come up. Radio on 142.7, which is a local Unicom. Sea tap as we call it back home. Yeah, it's come up a little bit. Once it comes up some more, we'll taxi out and should warm up a bit more. It's a big engine to not let warm up. Oil temp and pressure are rising. It's a beautiful day for it. So the field to the east has um, some special markers on it. The goal time is to crop dust the field in under 15 minutes. So the plan long term and why I'm doing this is to I found a strip close by and a retired um, crop duster who's happy to let me hire his Piper Pawnee. Alright, so yeah. Oil temperature's warm, cylinder head's warm enough that we'll get on the move. We'll pop out here, turn left and head down to the end of 3.6 and take off to the north and do the run-ups down there. Cottonwood traffic, Pawnee November 5528 is entering 3.6 and backtracking uh, for a departure on 3.6 to the east, Cottonwood traffic. While we're taxiing, we'll uh, set the flap to the first stage. Stick all the way back there. A pin between my knees there, just to keep the tail down. Pull off to the left here a little bit, just so I can swing it. Come on baby, let's get a move on. Bit of ground resistance there, maybe it's a little damp. I'm looking forward to crop dusting back near home. Oh, you see the field marker off the wingtip there. Looking forward to doing some, some work, some dusting work back around home. In Oregon. Alright, I'll swing this around into the wind. Just needs a bit more power on there, that stripped a fair bit of my ground speed off. Okay, nothing in the pattern. We'll do our run-ups here. Fit on the brakes. Keep the stick back there. Run it up to 1800 RPM. There we go. Left magneto. RPM drops less than 50 RPM. Right magneto. Drops within 50 RPM and idle. Now uh, that's all good. Okay, with that we will roll. Cottonwood traffic, Pawnee November 5528 is rolling 36 for departure east. Cottonwood traffic. Okay, prop is governing. Let's go full throttle. 
push the nose forward. We're starting to get a light on the feet. 70 knots, let's uh, rotate and up we go. Bit of right rudder in there to keep that nose straight. We'll target around 80 knots. Nearly at 500 feet OGL. Feet right, centre, and left. Make this gradual turn to the left. Flap retracted. Still targeting 80 knots. Best rate of climb 74, so that is a nice target. Now we'll aim for circuit height, which is at, any, well, right now, we'll level out. Build up a little bit of speed and we'll pull it back to 20 inches of manifold pressure now. I'm not really in a rush to get over the field, it's pretty close. Here's the airstrip, just at our 10 o'clock. And there's the crop dusting field ahead. Cottonwood traffic, Pawnee November 5528 is departing this time. Tracking 090, a field to the east, uh, maintaining 1,700 feet Cottonwood traffic. Might just turn off to the left here and bring the manifold pressure back and start the descent the dead side of the field here. Get ready for our first pass. It's one thing I've noticed about the Pawnee, it doesn't really like to slow down as much as I thought it would. I thought a parasitic drag had slowed down a bit quicker but it's alright, we've got plenty of time to slow it down head over this big turnpike. Good thing about flying out here because there's plenty of places to make a forced landing if you needed to. Not that we want to but you know as a pilot you look out for that kind of thing. Remember flying over forests when I was training and freaking out because there was nowhere to, nowhere to land if you had to. We might even try and bleed off a bit of airspeed here. Put it into a bit of a slip, I think. It'll help with the slowdown. There we go. Yeah, the speed's bleeding off now. Bring the manifold pressure back up to 15 inches and trim it out for about 90, 95 knots. That'll be good for our dusting to watch these trees here. Just uh, pop it up and over the tree. Ready on the dusting lever. We're lined up and dust on. Just trim this out a little bit. Trim is the key. Trim for an airspeed, remember? Now that's good. Last gate. Dust off. Okay, let's get this puppy turned around. It's almost like a procedure turn from my instrument flying days. Try and keep it around 100 knots too, I think, in these um, procedure turns. Procedure turns are great for approaching runways, you know, it's a fairly common manoeuvre. Turn 90 degrees one way and then 270 back. We're lined up good, let's just bring it back to 15 inches there and dust on. 
I just keep swapping to float because I'm trimmed for about 90, 95 knots and going a little bit faster. So all right, I'll just apply a bit of forward stick until it slows. Just a little bit of a crosswind, but not too much. Dust off. And we'll go into our next procedure turn. Yeah, a little bit of a crosswind. It's not too bad though. been a while since I've flown a Pawnee. Awesome plane though, such a workhorse. You can tell I'm a bit rusty on the stick and rudders though. Oh, a bit more proficient, it's all practice. Just pulling this one out a bit wider to give us a bit more time to line up and slow down. I cut the other one a bit short, which obviously compresses everything on the on the lineup. I've overshot that a little bit. That's alright. Give us a chance to slow down. Of course there's a tree right next to that gate. And obviously when I'm crop dusting back home I'm not gonna have pretty gates to move through it'll all be guesstimation. And dust on. Because as you'll note this plane does not have GPS lineup and all that fancy schmancy stuff will be old school crop dusting because the poor need it. I mean, I've even gone and had a little bit of it, it's the same. We don't have any GPS tracking dust off. Ooh, bit of a wheel touch. Guess I was low enough, but uh, hopefully, I'll uh, won't lose too many points for that. Gets the old heart rate up when your wheels kiss the ground. Pull it around. Come on, baby. This is looking much better. Now I just need to slow it down. Yeah, the speed's coming back. Dust on. Oh, a little bit messy. It's trimmed back out though. So you get to that 95 knots and or 90 knots and dust off, and uh, 15 inches of mercury, and it just settles because it's obviously the speed I'm trimmed to. Conditions. I've already had interest back home, a few farmers wanting uh, aerial dusting done, which is cool, so it can become a nice little side business. If I earn enough money out of it, I may even buy this plane that this old farmer's got. Could even potentially look at putting in a strip back home. Doing okay, I reckon. Been a while since I've been in the saddle. Dust on. Oh, the, the, little, the last short bit of the field. Dust off. Oh, bit of a skid there. <laughs> bit too much right rudder. It's like a lead with rudder on that turn. Not pretty well coordinated. That's alright, it's just a bit of rust work the rust out. It's nice to be back in the air though. I've missed it. I'll cut that one a little bit too short, that's alright. Just put a bit of slip in here to slow us down. Line up. Around we come. Dust on.
dust stop. There we go, I think we're doing well. Pretty sure that was gate seven. Gate six. We're coming up to seven minutes. Just extending this out a bit just to give me a bit more time to line up. Yeah, you got the obstacle of the trees here too, that's alright. So if I bring the manifold pressure back now, I should bleed off a bit of speed and I'll pick a bit up and bleed it off and just make it faster. Oh, I'll just watch that wing there. No, we're good. Yeah, gate seven. Three to go. Oh, coming a bit wonky here. Dust on. It's alright, sort it out in the end. Three to go. Now, I was told that there was a guy going to be out here with a drone taking a bit of footage which has its own dangers associated with it and I've got some cameras set up on the plane. Dust off. So we might uh, splice in a bit of footage from outside the plane now that we've done most of the field. See what he's provided us. Yeah, I'm keen to see what this footage looks like. Like I said, if it's any good, I'll splice some in so you get some external views as well. As long as he keeps that drone well away from me. Because I certainly can't see it while I'm flying. Just side slip that a little bit. Slow us down a touch. It's better. Lined up nicely. Some airspeed's coming down. Dust on. Nice and stable. It's going to be tight coming down over those trees. On gate 9. dust off. Make sure I give myself a little bit more time on the approach. I'm also going to have the issue with slightly increased airspeed when I descend over the tops of the trees. It's alright, just have to apply a bit of forward stick until I slow down. And she comes. Two more passes and we are done. We're looking good for time. Alright, bring that power right back. Let's try and slow it down or prepare for it. No, I didn't pick up too much airspeed. It's going to work out pretty well. Bring it back to 15 inches. Dust on. It's lined up. Trim is the key, absolutely. I don't need to put too many inputs there. Dust off. Last pass. All you good about this. Such a solid airframe. It's awesome. Got four minutes to go on the countdown. So I should finish with a couple of minutes to spare. See the last gate. And those trees are like on the right hand side of the trees. Start to slow it down a bit. Oh no. No 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 no. 
we might go left hand side of the trees we'll just side slip it a bit to slow down a bit and there we go this is a bit messy I think we'll pull it back in yeah we'll be right dust on a little bit more power that's fairly stabilised Like crosswind from the west. Come off the nose left. Ever so slight. Last gate. Done. We'll fly back now. Whoops, and dust off. Be a good idea. Okay. Poison the population. Got a little bit distracted with that message that popped up. Right, 25 inches on the climb out. We'll get back up to circuit height. Want to do that on the dead side here. Now we need to try and find this airfield. I've flown out of it all of once. 500 feet to run here. Oh, yep. Yeah. I see the field, it's at 1 o'clock. We'll get set up for a midfield crosswind. Up to 1700 feet. We'll just bleed some of this airspeed off and trade speed for altitude. Cottonwood traffic. Pawnee, November 5528, it's about a mile to your east, inbound, 1,700, I'll uh, be for a full stop on 36, Cottonwood traffic. Such a gorgeous day to be in the air. Oh yeah, the strip's just almost right underneath bring this power back and slow down a bit and re-trim Cottonwood traffic pawnee in November 5528 is joining midfield crosswind runway 36 full stop Cottonwood traffic Downwind, clear right, centre and left, there we go, a little bit far out, that should work out alright. Okay, downwind checks, brakes, pressure good, undercarriage fix, mixture full rich, fuel is set to on, hatches and harnesses secure. Radio, clear right, centre and left. Cottonwood traffic, pointing number 5528, standing base, runway 36, full stop, Cottonwood traffic. Okay, start to slow this beast down. We're in the wide arc, select, select three stages plan. Pressure back onto 15 inches. A little bit far out. We'll make it work. There's full flat. Cottonwood traffic pony number 5528 in the final runway 36 full stop Cottonwood. Profile's looking a little flat. Cow 
flaps are open, Bella 4-5. RPM up a little bit just to let it settle. Radio off. Third time's charm. Here we go. And mixture to cut off. Mags off. Battery off. If you enjoyed that, please like, share, subscribe and hit that notification bell. Catch you soon.